Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Long Dark, episode 13? Yeah, episode 13 of Long Dark Winter Mute. So, last episode we just got off the phone with which Dinger, the lady that helped us out of the snow. Because we're now as uh, Astrid. Sadly, Mackenzie is in somewhere in Carter Hydro Dam getting beat up by a, a crazy guy. But now our mission is to find Mackenzie. We were looking for Astrid. Now we have to find Mackenzie. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> this will be interesting. That's for sure. Get outside and see what's happening. Wow, this place is pretty beautiful. Okay, so... Come around. Kind of just look around real quick. Okay, so... Trauma. Find Thompson's Crossing. Oh, wow. We got a long way to go. Guess let's find the road. And here's the road here. Let's check the map which way we need to go. Alright. We're looking the wrong way. Jeez, it's so dangerous here. This is a lot harder. Okay. Uh, let's use one of these flares. This scares him away. Oh, we need to find some cloth fast. Because we are hurt already. These wolves are a lot more dangerous. Now if we look at the map here real quick. Yep, we just need to head up this way. Well, we need to find some old clothing fast so that we're able to get bandages. We're not looking so good right now. Jeez, this part has been a lot harder than others. Let's get away from the farm. The farm is infested by many wolves. Let's get in here real quick. This stuff will come in handy. Matches, grape soda. Please, something. Anything there? Anything there? Of course not. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have. Nah, there's of course nothing. Okay, let's keep moving, I guess. That? Okay, where do we have to go now? Guess we just gotta keep moving. I really need to find some cloth. Prison guard. Oh yeah, Black Rock Prison. Ow. Okay, let's head over here. There seems to be a building. Yep, this is where we're supposed to be going. Ah. 
we are not feeling so good. <laughs> we have a lot of ouchies all over our legs, the arms. Wolves are a lot dangerous in this area or part of this. This. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I love dead bodies. They're so cool. Okay, anything here? This is cool. really handy. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Best you can. Roll the bar. Lair. Roll cartridge. Sneak in here real quick. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, the medical stuff we have isn't gonna help. We don't have any spare clothing. Drink some water. Eat some food. Okay, storm starting. I would prefer to be in here. And I think if we sleep with a fire, uh, come on, we need to start a fire here. About over here. Ah. Uh, We really need to start a fire. Ah, I feel I have a feeling we're gonna die very quick. I'm gonna light another one of these. Just to be safe. There's some more buildings up ahead. That's good. I know, I know, you're hurting. I'm trying to get this fixed. This is really hard. Ow. This is ridiculous. And that's a deer it looks like, so that's good. That would be a wolf though. Luckily, it's busy eating a rabbit. Oh, and in here, I said I could like rest in here. Everything I own is wet. It's just wonderful. Um, yes, let's jump out and hope for the best.
great. Okay, he's staying away. I think the flare is working. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I got a flare. Back off. Just trailing us. Yeah. You really need to get inside this farm building. And then here. Phew. Oh god. That was really close. Oh gosh. This is so much harder. Like so much harder. And what we were doing with Mackenzie. We can, we can search through here. Hopefully lay a sleeping bag. And rest. My wound go here. Or heal here. What? <laughs> hey. Fire bell there. I'm gonna need some. <gasps> Survival bow. Yeah. I think I can use this. Okay, cool, we got our lantern now, too. Anything in this room? Nope. What about upstairs? Really need some kind of... Oh, yes, lockers. Yes. Always, mm. or almost no normally, closing lockers. Yeah, cloth. Ragged windbreaker. Uh, we'll keep the windbreaker because it's it'll keep us warm. But we now can craft bandages. There. Now we come to medical supplies. Actually cancel. We want to sleep first. But we need to sleep first. I want to see if sleeping will fix our condition. Pretty sure it will. Okay, let's search these tool drawers. I'll take it. Other little matches. Pry bar that's useful. What is this search metal? Okay. It just has a weird stuff on top of it. Oh! Yeah! That's beautiful. Okay, so we were definitely meant to come here. Horse Talker Collectible Part 2. Hmm. Okay. Um. There's something I could craft in here now. Crow feathers. I just need some crow feathers. Okay, so we want to come in here. Down to our sleeping bag. And sleep for a good 12 hours. And there we go. Now come to our tools here. We'll drop those. Put a little 
bring this out. Pick this up. To <laughs> we do not want to lose that. Okay. Let's head down to the little fire pit down here. And get a fire going. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We got bandages. We got more healing supplies. We have more Perfect. ammo. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Okay, we want to do water. Cook. Water. Cook. Pass time until ready. Okay. more water there we go all past time Okay, good. Oh, uh, let's see here. So we want to come down to our food real quick. We want to let's eat some MRE. Okay, that'll be the last time I drink, I eat for a little while until I absolutely need to eat. I don't want to be wasting my food. Um, guess we can sleep again. Sleep for like two hours. And that should be good. It should be morning. Oh. Dang it. We uh do something. Hmm. So actions. Let's harvest that. Cool, so now Make my way over to the crafting bench. Hmm. Okay, we gotta come up here. Come back over here. We haven't been inside the car like yet. Let's see what. We can. Okay, there's the glove box. There's nothing. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Okay, bandages, that's always good. Nothing up there. Jump out. Okay, backpack. One little scarf, bang no, up no. dog food. Could end up being useful. Bad roll. Okay. Should be daylight soon. Yeah, it's almost it's almost finished here. Oh, look at our health at max. That's good. All right, we need to come down here. Can we make a simple arrow? We need more crow feathers. 
Okay. How many arrows do we have? Got arrow shaft. Simple arrow, simple arrow. I want those stacked. Oh, this one has like is like damaged a little bit. Okay. Uh let's check out the bow. Oh that's that's nice. Yeah, I like that. You need to reload our gun. There we go. That's reloaded. Ooh, we got some more. Cool. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Absolutely, it will. Okay. I'll just carry my gun for now. Oh god, here we go. What are we gonna have? What's gonna happen now? I don't want to die. Okay, wolfie wolfies. Here I come. Oh, he's right there. Let's get inside. I don't want to have a struggle with the wolf quite yet. But I don't have much of a choice. Okay, good. That worked. It's, it's scaring him away. Get over to this barn real quick. No, cancel. What? Yeah. No, there's no one here. This game got a lot more intense going into this next episode. Okay, when you make it up there. Just walk past there. Come up here. Okay, a wolf got a uh, deer. Oh, nice! Hello, Jersey. <laughs> I'll some of this. I don't want to be stinky, I just kind of want the leather. for stuff that I can drop. I can drop the scrap. There we go. Uh, so my person is cold. We're gonna have to do something about that. Not right now though. <laughs> you just need to get away from here. That's so a fire. That's a fire. Bed. Look look at the smoke. Whoa. What happened there? Smoke. 
Maybe that community hall from the flyer. Like, there's a lot of things wrong with this island. There's not just gonna be a, a group of people at a building talking about how to keep the town alive. Everyone's gone. There really is, I don't think, any more big communities. No more than like two or three people. what we got in here. Of course nothing. Okay, our health's starting to go down. We need to get to this fire soon. Wouldn't it be crazy if we ran into Methuselah as this character? Okay, no, that's just a normal fire. Okay. I'm surprised. Mining town. It used to be anyway. Yeah, it used to be. Thompson's that's crossing. Got to be the community hall. Yay. I'm gonna kinda warm up inside. Let's go. <gasps> Everyone, hands up! I have the revolver here. Hands up. <sighs> oh god, we have six, six people. Whoa! There's a lot of people here. Oh, hello. Did you come from the crash site like the others? All the cots are taken, but you can sit by the fire and warm up a bit. The crash site? How did you know about the... The crash site. Don't you remember? Another one suffering from shock, maybe. I crashed, but days ago, I'm far from here. No, no. You crashed yesterday. In the hills. A terrible crashing sound. I even heard it over the howling blizzard. Don't you remember? Listen, I I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I crashed, but not here. Oh, of course. Well, please stay and warm yourself by the fire until we can figure out where you belong. Survivors. So, these people are all survivors of a crash? Well, most of them, yes. There were maybe half a dozen people in and around the town site when the blizzard first hit. Over the past day or so, the rest have slowly arrived. Most of them from the crash site. What crashed? A passenger airliner, best I can tell. Most of the people who arrived were too weak to talk about it. But judging by the thundering sound and the size of the fire on the hills, whatever crashed up there, it must have been something big. Are you sure you don't remember the crash? What is this place? Yeah, where is this? This is the old community hall in Thompson's Crossing. We gathered people here when the weather started turning bad. Three, or was it four days ago? The houses okay. became too cold, and it seemed better to bring everyone under one roof. Then yesterday, the crash survivors started showing up. Yeah. Wizard? How long do you think this weather will last? You're not from around here, are you? Whoever named this area Pleasant Valley had a pretty good sense of humor. We yeah. Had some of the harshest weather on all of Great Bear. But I mean, it's worse than usual? Yes. Another storm blew through about a few weeks ago. The worst I've seen in years. Blocked the roads in and out. 
I'm afraid we're stuck here until the road's clear. But will someone uh. come to check on the town? Clear the roads so you can get out? I don't think so. Not anymore. We'll have to wait for nature to take its course. But what will happen to all these people? Honestly, I'm not sure. We're down to our last food. We can melt snow for water, but that will only get us so far. And this time of year, there's always another blizzard around the corner. Things might be different if the power hadn't gone out. The best thing we can do is try to keep these people warm and fed, and then we'll see what the Lord has in store. You seem disoriented, but you're in much better shape than the others. Maybe you can help us. I'm a doctor. I can have a look at the survivors and uh, see how to help them. Okay. That sounds like a good place to start. Once you've had a chance to check on them, come back. And we can try to figure out what can be done for them. Okay. So, <laughs> Fallen Star, Chapter 2. Okay, cool, we're in the next chapter. Let's see here. I'm gonna check you over. Oh, okay, hypothermia, no treatment required. You're okay. Let's treat. see what's wrong here. Hyperclimactic risk. Insulin. Okay. Hmm. I'll see if I can help. Dehydration. Treat affliction. Feeling better now? Okay. Franklin. Let me have a look, okay? How are you doing today? Con concussion. Uh. Well, I guess he's resting, which is all we can do. And then I'm gonna check you over. Concussion no treatment required. Okay. Move over here now. You're fine. You're not fine. Let me have a look, okay? Hypothermia, no treatment requiring this time at rest. Do none of the others need any checking over? Okay. I've had a look at the survivors. Most are in fairly good condition given the circumstances. These were the lucky ones. You'll find the ones who were less fortunate in the basement. May God take mercy on their souls. They died from their injuries, or were found dead. We put them downstairs to keep the bodies cold. And also, well, there are wolves around, you see. Yes, I've seen them. Yeah. I think I can find most of what these survivors need. But there is a diabetic in the group. They're gonna need insulin and soon. Do you know where I might find some? That's bad news. No, I don't. This survivor has type 1 diabetes. That means their body can't produce insulin. If they don't get it, they'll eventually go into shock and probably die. Well, then we need to find some. And soon before the blizzard becomes too powerful to even risk going outside. Okay. I need to remain with the survivors, minister to them. But you, you can go and look for the medicine they need. I will. Any suggestions you have would be very useful. Most of the surrounding houses will be empty, but you may find some of the minor supplies you need to treat the survivors. The diabetic came in from the plane crash a day, maybe two days ago. So your best chance to find their insulin will probably be to find their luggage. 
at the crash site. Well, how will I know which luggage is theirs? You'll have to search everything you find and hope for the best. Okay. Yeah. You keep an eye on everyone, and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for your help. One more thing. Yes? Many of these survivors are in bad shape. From the crash, it's true. But I've seen this sort of thing before. People need hope to survive. And if they can't have hope, they need some closure. Yeah. People here, many of them weren't traveling alone. They're broken hearted, worried sick about their loved ones, feeling guilty. Why did they survive when others didn't? You can help them find some closure. But chances are searching the crash site won't be a pleasant experience. I've seen death before. Yes, you're a doctor, so you understand the fragility of human life. The fragility of the human spirit mm. is more my domain. For the ones who've lost loved ones, if you can bring them some closure, that will help to start their healing process. Yes, it's well known that the mind and body are inextricably linked. I'm sorry if for being so quiet, I'm just artifacts, listening. Any information that would help to identify those who did not survive the crash, that information might be a salve to these poor broken souls. Then perhaps they'll have a chance to face tomorrow. I'll do what I can to find IDs, documents, anything that can help identify the people who didn't make it. In turn, take this, my child. Oh, um, I'm, I'm not religious. Please, keep it. It's not for you. Please, humor me. I, I don't understand. At least until I can minister to those souls myself. Having you carry this rosary while you investigate the crash site, it would bring an old priest some comfort. It will be the closest thing to my being able to pray for them. I mean no disrespect, Father, but do you really believe this will help? Perhaps in the end, faith is all we have. Okay, well, this has really been like, uh oh, God, here we go. So, you're still alive. So far, yeah, <coughs> but there are people in town who won't be if I don't get going. You heading up to the plane crash? How'd you know that? I would like to help the crash victims, yes. <sighs> I wouldn't get your hopes up. A few days in this weather and with the wolves prowling? I doubt you'll find anyone alive out there. Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah, well... I left you a little present. Look, I'm not sure... Relax. You have to trust someone, right? Would you trust someone with a dead body in their basement? Fair point. <laughs> but if you want to live... Check out the trunk of that blue sedan over by the swing set. Well, okay. Thanks, I guess. Watch out for okay. The well then, Molly's still alive. That's good. Um, let's do some searching real quick. Let's see. Find the car that she mentioned. Let's take a look in here. I think I need to. What? <laughs> I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh, Sasquatch kid. Right. Totally gonna do that. Why are these... Why are these locked? 
But I can't just steal all the food. Okay. Let's go do a duty. Go find the Sudan that she mentioned. So I can get more gear. So I don't die. Blue Sudan near the swing side. Oh! What? That can't be good. Temple of Moral. Temple of Cracks have Moral indicated by the meter. Temple of Moral can be broken by shooting or throwing things. At them, packed with broken moral will flee, but many return once they recover. I've never dealt with Timberwolves before. <laughs> Oh, I think I hit it. Come here, boy! Okay, well, um, let's go over to this swing set. Oh, this, there's a lot of stuff here. Looking for a swing set, but I'm not seeing a swing set. Hmm. Badge received. Badge? What does that do? <laughs> oh, right in here. I think. Is this a garden or a... Oh, that's just a garden. Sudan. Okay. Some more help from Molly. Let's hope these work. Let's uh check this out for now. Okay, let's check where we need to go from here. Well, actually, I think we'll end it right here. This has been really awesome. I've really enjoyed this story, and I hope you guys are enjoying it, too. I mean, we've, we're Astrid now. We're helping people. This is a lot more, like, we have to do a lot more to continue with this story. And I really like that. I hope you all enjoyed, and see you all next time.